Well, hey, howdy, everyone. Lost it here. Back in action for more. Ace Attorney Investigations 2 Attraction. That's right. We've just found out that Courtney is, in fact, a MILF. Jacques. And what does this MILF have to say? W what? I was unable to learn much about the conversation she had with the president, but... I have learned of John's kidnapping. It was an unexpected result from that. It's checkmate. Yes, you 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 put out a strat of a mother. Congrats. Congrats, Edgeworth. What? John is Miss Courtney's son? No way. I mean, he's already so big for him to be your Yes. John is indeed my son. Please look at this. This is the clipping from a magazine. An article about John. Do you always carry this around with you? Yes. I always keep it close by. It's like a charm to me. It seems the bond they share is a strong one. However, are you absolutely certain that he's been kidnapped? Yes, I received a call from the kidnapper just before the trial started. What were their demands? They had only one demand. A not guilty verdict for Patricia Berlin. I see. Well, that's what happened. Since there's no evidence that should make me innocent, isn't that right, Your Honor? That is correct. The prosecution has not uh, produced sufficient evidence to prove the defendant guilty. As such, I hereby find the defendant, Patricia Rowland. So that's why you were going to deliver a not guilty verdict earlier. I am not qualified to be a judge. A judge must be able to remain impartial and composed above all else. And yet, despite this, in the trial just now, I, I was about to hand down a verdict that was led solely by my heart. Judge Courtney, the goddess of law must be furious with me, but I simply couldn't do it. I couldn't hand down a fair verdict. If it meant I had to sacrifice my own son. Of course you can't! Hey. A real parent would never abandon their own child. If that makes the goddess of law angry, maybe the goddess is the one who's wrong. The goddess is guilty. Guilty! Is that right, Mr. Edgeworth? Indeed. It took my goddess guilty. We're responsible for upholding the law, but at the same time, we are only human. Nobody sh would hand down a verdict that would sacrifice their own child. Thank you very much, Miss Faraday, Prosecutor Edgeworth. However, I cannot simply run away from the courtroom. Judge Courtney, so this is where you've been. It appears it's time. Miss Courtney! My father? He was a prosecutor. Your father? Yes, he stood in court, just like you. And now, all that has happened got me thinking. What if my father had been in the same position as you are now? The prosecutor was being coerced into obtaining a guilty verdict. I know! If my life were on the line, my father would definitely kind of steal me back! Steal you back? Miss Courtney, why don't you let us take care of it? What? 
I'm gonna go steal John back for you. As for the second Yakuterasu, I care of Faraday. Give you my word. So the great thief Yakuterasu plans to steal the truth, huh? What say you, Judge Courtney? Will you place your trust in your young uh, great thief? Prosecutor Edgeworth. And if it's all right with you, I wish to help as well. Thank you very much. I know that it's really not my place to ask of this of you. But please, do whatever you can. Please, save John. You got it! Just leave everything to us! Allow me to leave my cell phone with you. You may get a call from a kidnapper at some point. You have my word. I will ensure the safe return of your phone along with your son. I will do everything in my power to prolong the trial. But, even then, at most, the trial can only last for about two more hours. Two hours, huh? So until 2 p.m. That's our time frame. I must return to court. Miss Faraday, Prosecutor Edgeworth, I shall leave the rest to you. Oh, bad that she did is cute. Okay, I thought you were taking a break from being a great thief. As of right now, the great thief Yagadarasu is back in business. Alright, alright, time to put a, on the gloves and hit the pavement. My first request, after all. Is that so? In that case, we'd better begin our investigation post haste. We hope to track down John. <laughs> Where do you run off to? You might have just gone back home. That's right! I mean, it doesn't look like they're going to get any filming done today. Or he may have run away. We should probably begin our investigation from the front of the Grand Tower. But, hey! Hold it, Mr. Edgeworth! You're not the one in charge anymore. From here on out, this is a job for a great thief. Which means, I'm the leader now. If that's the case, then what am I supposed to do? Mr. Edgeworth, you get to be the first ever Great Thieves Assistant. So I'm a Thieves Assistant now. Yeah, you really got demoted. Like, this, this game did pull. Alright, let's get going. The Great Thief Yakutarasu, that takes flight once again. You so happy about it? April 6th, 1210 p.m. Outside Grand Tower, Tower Plaza. Here we are, the scene of the crime. Let's get to work. Now say it with me, Mr. Edgeworth. Hmm, say what? Even in the depths of night. Oh, come on, say the rest of me. And just why should I do that? Because the great thing Kakaturasu is as a ride on the scene. If we don't see the introduction, it just doesn't feel right. No intention of becoming a thief. Uh, fine then. I'll do it by myself. Even in the depths of night, when no other bird dare takes flight, one alone soars to shine the light of righteousness on the world's blight. And that one is me, where I am the great thief, Yakutarasu. Yes, Kay, I know who you are. I don't know the hand, um, tell me my investigation. Tch, how fun. We don't have time for fun. We only have till two o'clock. We need to begin, uh, making inquiries immediately. Good thing we have a photo so we could, uh, go right ahead and start asking around. Well, it's good. It's good. Yeah, what's up? Let's show that to you again. The token of uh, everything you've done for me, Mr. Edgeworth. I'm gonna curve you also. So it's the same thing. I was hoping it'd be different, but no, it's just the same badge thing. That's fine. The kidnapping. The thing that John had been kidnapped and was being held hostage all this time. That explains why we weren't able to find him anywhere. The last time we saw him was on 
at the film set. Stop by gathering information over there. Kidnappers may have uh, left some clues behind. Let's examine everything, even if it uh, seems totally unrelated. Okay, I guess we're gonna be doing that. Wait, is that the old, old folk dude? Is, is that the samurai? Long time no see, Mr. Edgeworth. Your This is William Powers. He is an action star I met in a previous case. He also played the role of the Steel Samurai, or of Ni Oldie Tokyo. It's been a long time. Pleased to meet you! I'm Kate Faraday, a great thief! Some stuff has happened, so now Mr. Edgeworth is my assistant. Nice to meet you. But the thief and Mr. Edgeworth is your assistant? Please pay it no heed. More importantly, I'd like to ask you some questions about the case. Oh, okay. I don't know if I'll be much help, though. Mm. He's an actor who has been working with John. It may be a bit sudden, but let's hear what he has to say. I like this music. It's nice old jazzy music. Also, it looks like he's in, like, a little, little tracksuit, which I don't know. It just works well for him. Uh, what's that supposed to be? I might be able to help you if it has something to do with acting or stunts, but... I appreciate that, but whatever. Uh, what do they do with acting or stunts? Is that so... that's too bad. He seems disappointed. Okay, he didn't seem to really have the thing. <laughs> it seems they're putting a lot of work into this movie. That's because this is our first attempt at making a sequel to an old classic. Global Studios is pouring their heart and soul into this one. I wish they put that much effort into making a new Steel Samurai series. Fucking salty as hell. What roles are you playing uh, this time, Mr. Powers? I'm playing the Mighty Mozilla. Whoa! You're the main character? Well, much obliged. I'm wearing a full body costume again, so my face won't be seen. Uh, this time either. I see. That costume sure is cool, though. I'll try wearing it, too. I know. How about next time you uh, let me get in the costume? Maybe just the horn part? That's not really possible. Can't get inside the horns. Well, I guess that makes sense. I'm not in the Screen Actors Guild, after all. I don't think that's what he means. I heard that you were handling this investigation for this case, but... Hmm? Well, that's... I'm not the prosecutor in charge, though. But if you're the assistant, then does this mean that Kay is in charge? No, this is just a simple list. You've got a good eye on you. You're completely right. He jumped at the chance. Since I'm in charge here, I'd like to answer a few questions post haste. And please be frank. If anything happened to catch your eye, ergo, didn't you notice anything? Who is she trying to imitate? Be frank, huh? Well, I feel sorry for the victim, but. I can't help but worry about what will happen with the filming from now on. No, that's only natural, still. I wouldn't think that filming would be difficult now. They knew it. This is bad. We could only use this location for a little while longer, too. Is the filming almost complete, then? No, but construction will begin here soon, but we won't be able to film here anymore. We're only using this vacant lot until construction begins. But the rest of the movie will be filmed at Global Studios. Things aren't looking good. There's even some people spreading bad rumors. Bad rumors? Lately, a journalist has been coming by repeatedly saying, This film's lot of hiding a real monster, I reckon. There ain't no use hiding it. And stuff like that. I have a feeling I know who you're talking about. Yes, it was that photographer from before. 
You're not actually hiding a real monster, are you? Of course not. If there really was one, I'd be out of a job. I would like to ask you some questions about John. About John? <laughs> I heard about that, about it from the girl on staff. Probably well, we suddenly vanished from right in front of you guys. That's just like him. Does he do that a lot? I'd say so. During filming breaks, even took your eyes off him for a moment, he'd be gone. Do you have any idea as to where he might have gone? I don't know, but... I ran into him as he was leaving the film lot. What? Really? Where did John go? I saw him get on the trailer, but... When I was checking the equipment, he was gone again. The trailer, huh? There still, might still be some traces of him left behind. Mr. Powers, could you show us the trailer? Sure thing. It's a bit of a mess right now, though. Let's take him up on his off and examine the inside of the trailer. Uh... I guess we just go inside here? Question mark? Let's look over here first. Or I would if I could. It appears to be a map of the area around the Grand Tower. Let's take a look. Oh, neat. This is the Grand Tower. It's where we were, uh, where we are right now. It's a nice building, but I can't say I'm a fan. Can't blame her. It wouldn't be strange if she never wanted to set foot on the tower again. Mr. Edgeworth, once we discover the truth and completely solve this case, can we come back here again? Just a sightsee. We could bring Gummy along with us too. I've been living in the past. Hold you back. Always looking forward. It's just like you. Unfortunately, okay, we aren't uh, quite finished here yet. Not much left to solve. Too early to be making plans for the future. Hmm, I guess so. Well then, let's hurry up and solve it. Twilight Station? Do we not look at Twilight Station? Ooh, waste management. Task waste management. Uh, do they help you manage your wasteful uh, spending? No, this is where the garbage uh, trucks be, uh, bring all the combustible uh, waste they're collected. By the way, Kay, why are you so fidgety? It's nothing. More importantly, there's another waste center on the top right corner of the map. With the separate facilities, they probably handle uh, different kinds of waste. Although there does seem to be a lot of waste management facilities around here. Oh, oh! I think I know why. I bet they're always collecting uh, garbage or dust all time. Were you so fidgety because you were waiting uh, for a chance to say that? Prime Mall? Rising Sun Park. Never really cared much uh, for that sort of thing. Or that ultraviolet rays from the sun could uh, cause burns on uh, marks on your skin. Hey, what in the world are you talking about? Come on, I'm talking about the Rising Sun Park, of course. I like to bask in that sentiment while I watch the sun rise in the park. Sunshine Coliseum? The Sunshine Coliseum, the place where all sorts of special events are held. I always wanted to go to a world at uh, Eve Expo. It was all uh, cancelled this year. I that it's a huge event where all the greatest thieves from around the world gather. But last year, everyone who went got arrested. Turns out it was just a trap set up by the police to catch thieves. And even knowing that, you still want to go? <laughs> well, yeah, because it's like you get to escape from prison. Hmm. Seems the harbor and the waste center are quite close to each other. Maybe that's where they dispose of all the garbage that comes floating in from the ocean. Perhaps they do, but I'm sure they also deal with other types of waste as well. Other types of waste? Ah, you don't mean shells and fish bones, do you? You can't just throw away the fish and shells you catch from the sea like garbage. You gotta recycle them. Make them into jewelry and stuff. Hey, let's talk about this matter some other time. Yeah, you really did not have a have a good time with that, did you? Hmm. 
Hmm. Seems the hub and the way center are quite close. Okay, so. So this is just the same thing. It's just this one little big thing. I'm surprised Twilight Station doesn't get anything. Like, for real? Like, she's like the best pony. How are you not gonna have that, huh? It's not here. This basket looks pretty suspicious to me, uh, but certainly does. Huh? What's wrong, Mr. Edgeworth? Why are you trying to uh why are you touching the truck? Chuck's body is cold to the touch. Things have been parked here for some time. Did you figure all that out just by touching it? Considering the length of time it's been parked here, the driver must not be nearby. I suppose they won't be able to ask them any questions until they return. Ooh, new truck. Okay. Hello, my dude. Thank you for your hard work, Prosecutor Edgeworth. I'm not a prosecutor at the moment, but I'll keep quiet about that for now. Thank you. What are you doing here? Sir, I'm on guard duty. Then could you tell me about the cars I've been passed through here today? The only ones that came through here were that taxi and the blue truck. The two different vehicles came through this place. This is valuable information. So John might actually be in there? That's what I'm hearing. Hey buddy, what's wrong? Your face looks so serious. You picked up any passengers here today? Oh, I should did. It was only one group. What do they look like? A pair of men. They were both one black. Did you happen to see a small boy with them? There's a picture of them. Nope. That was just the two guys. I understand. Thank you for your cooperation. I was hoping you would have had some more information for us. But I guess not. I thought the slime might have produced something, but no. Well, let's just go to the trailers. Uh, if I can just... Pieces of film equipment have been placed here. Are you filming today? No, we had to stop uh, filming for today. Since the box has disappeared. The box? What is he talking about? Yeah, there was some equipment in that box. I take my eyes off of it for a few seconds, and look what happens. There's a thief among us? Exactly what was stolen? Nothing much, actually. Just the box is missing. Acha. Why would someone steal a box? Personally, I would have taken the stuff inside. They probably wanted the box more than whatever was inside it. They plan to put something inside the box. Perhaps a small boy. Perhaps a boy that is in middle school. Perhaps that looks like an elementary school student. About John's seat. Uh, it's over there. Uh, where the backpack is sitting. Something is sticking out of the bag. This is the tape. Huh? Tape for film. Why does John have one? Did he film something? Might be a clue. Is there any way to check its contents? We have a monitor to look over the footage that was filmed. We can use that. Now then, let's see what's on the tape. This is... It looks like when John was practicing. John was practicing by himself. The monster's footprint can be seen as well. But this must have been recorded last night. He does that sometimes. When he's not happy with his performance, he'll sneak onto the set to practice by himself. Wow, he really is hardworking. Sure is. Although he's young, he's a real pro. He never rests until he's satisfied. Then again, 
I can't say that I approve of him. He's an equipment without asking. Don is able to operate the equipment all by himself. More or less. If it's just basic filming. Huh? What's wrong? Why isn't John on the screen anymore? Why isn't John on the screen anymore? I think he ran off somewhere just a few seconds before this. Did he just go somewhere and, uh, while the camera was still recording? The tape ends here. It looks like this is all that was recorded. No one else is on camera except for John. Acha. Hmm. It's already half past twelve. Wonder how Miss Courtney and the others are holding up. How long will they be able to prolong the trial? We gotta hurry and find John. Indeed. Ah, oh, heck no! Nah. Gonna uh, catch a scoop like that. Uh, sorry, Chief. What am I always telling you? We're beasts, scoop eating animals. Get scoop or star. No story, no glory. You gotta get fired up. Yes, sir. As expected, my mentor. They're here. Those nosy reporters. Hey, they came here too! Come on, Mr. Edgeworth! Let's go talk to them! What a grief. He must. He does not want this. He does not want this on his plate, ever. Nicole, it's been a while. How are you? It ain't Mr. Edgeworth! So we meet again! Miss Swift, why are you here? You were set up as a suspect for the murder. Still, your involvement with the fake assassination plan remains a fact. You will have to submit a police questioning later. You should know that there's still a possibility you may be charged with some crime. Uh, for some reason, my question was uh, stopped all of a sudden. After a while, they just let me out and told me I could go home scot-free. <laughs> Must be some kind of message that's saying I needed to keep on doing my best out there, I reckon. Well, they did give me a pretty stern warning not to reveal anything about the case. An official statement released to the public about the public assassination attempt. Miss Swift was not involved. That must have been the reason why they let her go. But Mr. Edgeworth, attempting to silence Nicole like this... It's like trying to plug a leaky dam with your bare hands. Hmm. She was quick to say something so harsh. I quickly put together the full details of everything I knew about the case. Hmm. <laughs> Sprinkled in some of my own uh, dramatizations and brought the article into the publisher. But, for some reason, I haven't gotten any replies yet. Were they pressured to keep quiet or were the dramatizations simply too much? Both are probable, so I'm not sure which is true. She literally was like, I was told not to say this. Goes to say this. Look, I understand freedom of press and whatnot, but I'm not sure this country has it, the base attorney, on top of the fact that, like, the government can still do shit like that. It is still very much possible, because you can be arrested still. You feel me? At the moment, the prosecutor presents his evidence. Fatally shining, shine. Hmm. Well, what do you just show me? Hmm. Never mind. But she doesn't know anything about it. Hmm. All right, whatever. What information were you trying to collect here at the Grand Tower, Mr. Edgeworth? You still don't get it, do you? If you want to ask a reporter a question, you gotta give her something first. You need information that could be used in the article. Bingo! Uh, give me some uh, info that'll make for a good article. If you ain't uh, got something like that, I guess we won't be talking. 
also need some information about John. Let's show her that piece of evidence and try asking her about him. Uh, is it this one specifically? Miss Swift, I'm sorry, but about this photo. Hey, you ain't gotta say it. I know exactly what's going on. Mm, what do you mean? You're searching for me, yeah? That boy. What? Things are get still pretty tough for you, I see. Miles Edgeworth, the man of crime. Whenever he goes, dead bodies are sure to follow. Or something like that. That's a terrible reputation to have. Who would have thought? This time, there'd be a kidnapping incident. What? How do you know that? Shh. Can you keep it down a little? This material's top secret. I ain't even told my mentor about it yet. Y'all gotta keep it a secret for me. If she finds out, I'll be goner. Why do you know that Courtney should have only, only told us? Mm hmm. I ain't telling that to nobody. Not even you, Mr. Prosecutor. Seems this reporter still hasn't learned her lesson. Uh, you can give me that stink eye all you want. I still ain't telling you. Damn. Do you know something about it? Truth is. I done saw it myself. A boy being taken away by a couple men in black. What? Where'd they go? That I don't know. Uh, they were too far away, so I lost sight of them. Darn it. But at least we know uh, what the criminals look like. Yes, a pair of men in black. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, I guess that'd be it. Maybe the blue truck would do something? Nope. Okay. But she did teach us, like, something pretty big here. And then we talk to you. Please. Your next scoop. Let's present it again. Hey, you! A gal with a ponytail! Yeah, I'm talking to you! Huh? You mean me? Why would you pin uh, something like that to your clothes? Well, um, this is the badge of Yagaterasu, and it's a great thief's- I ain't gonna mask it! Even if it's wrapped in gold paper, one of your body, uh, heat melted. Don't you get what I'm talking about? The chocolate! That big ol' uh, piece of chocolate! Didn't nobody teach you uh, not to play with your food? <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth, what am I supposed to do? Hey, times like these, just stay silent and wait for the storm to pass. <laughs> just, just do not deal with the idiot. They will bring you down to their level and beat you with experience. Didn't Miss Swift call you her mentor just now? She sure did! Nicole, my number one pupil! She says she fell in love with the photos uh, from my scoops. Even if our job is are different, our passion for scoops is the same, let me tell y'all. Even ever since then, she's been all keep like calling me stuff like master and cheat. But she fell in love with Miss Pot's photos. Guess you could say, like teacher, like student. She still got a ways to go and gather information, but her passion's a match for mine. Seems like she's trying to catch a scoop about Mozilla's appearance. She's been circling around these parts all day long. Circling around this area? Maybe she witnessed the kidnapping. Mr. Edgeworth, looks like we'll need to hear what she has to say. Indeed. We need more information about John. Let's show Miss Swift the piece of evidence and ask her about him. Oh, now that the black market auctions are over, what are you aiming for next? Ain't it obvious? Mighty Muzilla. Going after Moozilla. Who would have done uh, that for uh, which I was stalking out the black market auction at the Grand Tower? Who might have Moozilla's uh, footprints would show up right next to the tower? Is there really a place that would publish a story like that? Don't trick me like a fool. I got one or two valuable clients lined up. 
Actually, there's a new a new uh, paper company here at the Grand Tower. Me and Nicole go there all the time. Well, we always get turned down on the way up the door, but still. What exactly call that a valiant client? Damn. Damn. Really be saying that. Either way, time to launch it. Men in black, two men. Oop, oop. Let's get it. We now collected some testimony regarding the culprits. Miss Swift says she saw two men slip away with John. Furthermore, the taxi driver says he picked up two men in this taxi. He must be the same guys! Seems likely, however, there's still a problem. According to the taxi driver, the two men were alone. John wasn't with them. Yeah, you're right. This is a problem. Yeah, but what if John wasn't in them and stolen box or a thing? What if the kidnapper stole the box? Ah, you mean they... Exactly. They took it in order to carry John inside it. John's a tiny kid after all. Then the reason the taxi driver didn't see John was because... It's likely he was put in the trunk uh, as the kidnapper's luggage. Why did they uh, need to go through all the trouble of hiding him? Because the kidnappers must have intended to abduct him without being seen. However, they didn't anticipate all the policemen in this plaza. Ah, oh, I see. If they just tried uh, to just walk away with him, they would have been spotted. Just the mere presence of police would have been a sizable threat. I get it. In that case, we gotta ask the taxi driver. Did the two men you told us about earlier have any luggage with them? Yeah, they stuffed a huge box in the trunk. And that's that! Those guys uh, must be the kidnappers. Do you remember where you took those men? Sounds to me uh, like something serious has gone down there. If you like, I can take you out to the, pl the same place I took them. Let's do it, Mr. Edgeworth! Yes. Thank you for your help. No problemo. Just leave it to me. Go! Oh! 